The gravitational pull on the mass of a storm center or a plume from a volcano by the sun or moon is a predictable phenomenon. By chance, such an event was recorded by a NOAA geostationary weather satellite on August 29, 2005. As Hurricane Katrina moved toward the Louisiana coast, a series of visible photographs from a geostationary satellite were recorded every 30 minutes. At about 11.40 Universal Time, sunlight illuminated the cloud tops of Katrina. Simultaneously, a gravity wave swept across the edge of the hurricane. In response to this gravitational tug, the hurricane deflected in the direction of the sun in excess of one-half the diameter of the eye wall. That deflection was recorded by a series of frames taken every 30 minutes by the NOAA weather satellite. A small portion of each of those photos has been magnified and a stationary red reference point inserted on each land point. A green hurricane eye center reference point was inserted at the center of the eye wall for each of the frames. The gravity pull on the Katrina mass occurred about five minutes before frame number 1145 Zulu was taken. The concentrated edge of the storm system rapidly dispersed into a wide distribution of mass and was no longer appealing as a source for gravitational attraction by the sun. Katrina acted as a giant gyroscope and returned to its former track. The sun's gravitational influence on the hurricane made it appear to pivot around the red reference point as a result of that influence.